Hey everybody, Mark Expect the Comics, and I'm back. This time with my big first pickup for 2022. If uh, you watch my previous video on 2022 goals, you'll see where I'm getting at with this book. So, uh, came in the mail today. Let's see what I picked up. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Um, like I said, if you watched my previous video, you'll know where I'm getting at today with this. The whole objective of 2022 goals was to essentially have no goal books whatsoever. It kept me kind of blinded when I had the goal list in 2021 and that's probably the reason why I didn't successfully complete the whole list you know outside of the whole some of the books were scarce but um so like I said ended up for 2022 keeping an open mind no lists if I saw a cool book out there that you know previously I didn't have one on one of my lists um, and I found the book intriguing, I was going to pounce on it. And that's what I did. Um, was looking at a local auction house back home that I've talked about many times before. Sometimes there's a lot of cool books there that kind of slip under the radar, uh, if you know what I mean. And uh, especially when there's some big key books on auction, some of the, you know, overlooked established keys you can sometimes pick up for a really good deal. And uh, that's what I did for this book. Um, wasn't expecting it, you know, to purchase it for what I did, but it just happened that I ended up getting it. And I'm glad that I did. So um, the book came in. Uh, I've ordered from this auction house before. They package books well, they're a trusted source. And I'll buy books from them anytime. Um, so let's open this up. You know, I was eyeing several books in this auction house. Um, one was a DC Comics Presents 26. I'm still keeping that book on my radar because I do eventually want to get that book. But, uh, when the book came up for auction and I had signed on, the book had already sold. So that was a bummer. But uh, I was able to get this book. There wasn't many people bidding on it because um, a lot of people bid on this book at a higher grade previously. So uh, I think that was part of the reason why I was able to get a little bit of a discount. Um, they shipped it in some packing peanuts. Not a big fan of those, but it does keep the book safe, a little bit safe. But uh, this is going to make a huge mess, especially when the uh, apartment was just clean today. <laughs> Alright, so I'll put that down, I'm going to have to clean that up after. Uh, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to say, this is my first um, CGC magazine that I've owned. I've always been a bit skeptical about buying a graded book from CGC that's magazine size because I've heard some horror stories that the uh, the slabs are kind of crappy but uh, you know this is a book that I've always been eyeing over the years it is a set of characters that is nostalgic to me because I grew up watching this series and playing the video games. So hopefully I didn't give away too much of what the book is. 
but uh, I'm going to open up this bubble wrap, hopefully, while not damaging the case. So, hopefully, like I said, if you watched my previous video, um, hopefully you guys have a great collecting year and searching for those great books that you want to get for your collection. Um, like I said, I am stacked to have this book in the collection. And uh, all right, so for the big reveal, there it is. Alright, so uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number one, the third printing, and it came out at uh, 8.0. Look at that. Just inspecting the case real quick. And it is a beauty. Looking at it closely, it does look like it can benefit from a press. Probably the lighting is not going to show that well, but uh, this uh, top corner here does have a little crease. Actually, you could probably see it right there, the lighting. Yep. There you go. Um, the front is actually really clean. Um, you can see there's another right there, tiny little crease there that will definitely press out. And does have that, you know, typical magazine. You can hear that little click. And that's what I was talking about. I'm not a big fan of these cases because they're not built. They're not made well, and uh, that's one of their biggest critiques is uh, the clicking. Um, as for that, the case itself is not cracked. There's no cracks in it. It's just not made well. Um, but it is secured in there nice, nice. And this is a great book. I am happy to finally get this. I previously probably would have never bought the book, because it was never on my list, never on my radar. But um, it is such a nostalgic book for me. The characters are very nostalgic. I grew up watching them, grew up playing the video games. Um, and I think this is only my second or third Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles book. Um, so I'm very happy to have this in the collection. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'll probably have this cracked and resubmitted. <laughs> It'll probably take a year for the book to come back, though, sadly. So I haven't decided yet what I want to do with it. But uh, I was happy to get this book. Um, like I said, really great book to start off the year, you know, having. And uh, like I said, hopefully you guys are on your way to getting some of your books for the year. I'm happy to have this one in the collection. And uh, if you like this, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, Mark's Victor Comics, out.